Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy July 5th, the hangover after 4th of July. Hopefully, everybody's doing good. Everyone looks like they got all their fingers. Everyone's back. Good to see you, Mike, Dave, Neil, Ken. Good to see you, John, Judy. Uh, there you see Gunner. Good to see you, Kathy. Look at all those great names, Fernando. It is Thursday. It is Thursday, the day after. Hopefully everyone did pretty well. Kind of a little disappointed in myself because in New York it's illegal to blow fireworks. But hopefully in your neck of the woods, you guys you guys have fun on 4th of July? Everyone did pretty well? I have it on my calendar. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of fun, right? All right, well, anyway, uh, it's time to go to work, right, everybody? So uh, it's kind of weird because you don't know if the, the the vacation started last Thursday or it started this week. Uh, some people took the whole week off. So, you know, we could see how that basically, you know, I could tell by always the attendance and stuff like that. But a lot of you guys have been showing up. You constantly keep seeing the same name show up, which is great. So let's get right into it because there's a lot of couple of moving stocks right now. Obviously, the DFBR, you could see it. A lot of you guys were here. Early bird gets the money. Uh, stock started right around 5 o'clock, right 8 a.m. It really went to 350. Had a little bit of retrace, but a lot of you guys started jumping in right around the uh, 675 price range right there. Let me fix this time slide so you, you can see a little bit better. So um, right around there, you guys started jumping into it and it broke that high. So stock's doing really well. 107% in pre-market. This is what we do. Who traded? Who did pretty well? Tom, you're already up 60 cents on DFBG. All right, let's give him a round of applause. You know, remember, great traders don't buy at the bottom and sell at the top. You always buy in between. Oh, a bunch of you also did it uh, pretty well. Uh, you still have it from 566. That's exactly when we were talking about it in the pre market. Who else did pretty well? George, you made about 25 cents. Who else? I know a bunch of you guys did pretty well. Uh, got it at 562. Thomas, all right. All the Toms out there got it. All right, give you guys a round of applause. All right, a couple other ones that are moving pretty nicely too um, on the watch list. Let's just go through it. By the way, BJ's is doing great. Oops, spelled it wrong, dyslexed it. Uh, BJ's, our swing trade is doing great. Uh, actually, we talk about some of the stocks that we traded on Tuesday, um, and this was one of them. Great, great move. 2360 all the way to 2550. Great, great move in pre mark uh, during the day. Then it came back down a little bit. I was hoping it was going to close right around 25. The stock was really, really strong. Stock did phenomenal. All right. So BJ's did great. Another one, MXC is another stock we traded um, on Friday. I mean, on Tuesday. To fell, feels like a Friday. That one went from uh, 950 to $14. Huge winner right there. And you know, a lot of uh, that was a lot of program trading that happened on that one. And then obviously the Micron um, had a nice little move, and she's picking up pretty well right now. That is going to go on the watch list. All right. So what do we got going on for this morning? I mean, listen, we already been killing it in pre market, and it just wasn't the DFBR, uh, the DFBG. Also, the GBR did pretty well in um, doing pretty well. That stock we killed it. You know, also. The day before, um, on Tuesday, that one went from $8 to 13 came right back down. Doesn't matter. We made our money right here. Big telltale, cindo, uh, telltale window. This is what we learned in class. Double top, triple bottoms. When we broke, you sold the iceberg orders. And if you didn't get out, you would have got crushed on that position. Once again, it doesn't matter where it is now. It's what we did on, uh, on Tuesday. So that one did really, really well. She's moving pretty nicely right now this morning. So she did go back on the watch list being up 28%. Another one, um, you know, if everybody wants to know how to distinguish a buyout, which I don't even know because I didn't look at the news, but I can just tell by the stocks moving. Uh, this e, this XPLR, just wanted to bring it up 46%. You can see how it's kind of just kind of flatlined right there. So right away, you know, it's a buyout. So believe me, it's time to time I got caught on one of those and didn't realize it, but little telltale window. Another little cheapy that's moving pretty nice, so 14%, 55,000 shares. The VLRX, look at a nice little push, a buck 45, already went to a buck 60. Some of you remember we did trade the stock in the past. Actually, right in, uh, back in April, the stock uh, went, went from like $2 to $4. So we know this one does move and it is going to make the watch list. Um, 
Oh, there's another one right here. The Z, I don't know, did you guys see the ZYNE? Stocks down about 18%. One big concern, pharmaceutical stocks, and we don't know they won't come back, all right? Uh, so we got the, so that one is out, out. ANW is another one I found this morning. Big, big winner. A lot of you guys cleaned up already on that 70 cents, all the way to $2. Stock up 142%. And that's where it was right now. It actually was up almost 200%. But I want to keep a close eye on that because that stock is kind of filling in the gap. You could see really, really easy. It was kind of really easy to pick the resistance levels. Should have known where to get out just by knowing right here and seeing the iceberg all these orders are here on the matrix. And uh, two big brand name stocks I just want to throw in there. Micron is doing pretty well. I'm going to throw that on there. And FAU, Fiat, FCAU. Uh, that one is gapping up pretty nicely. And if Fiat's moving, that means Ferrari's moving. So race is also gapping up a little bit too. So obviously the market's up a little big today. You know, uh, usually you got to be careful dates like today. Because coming back from a big weekend, plus a lot of people did go away. I know a lot of people did go away actually. Uh, even left this morning, actually. But there are things that are moving. We're here. Let's make the best of it. Just don't get too cocky. But we do have a pretty substantial list. All right, so what do we got? We got GBR. We got DFBG. We got the VLRX. We got the BJs, the ANW, Micron, and FCAU, and Ferrari race. So a lot of them, obviously, those are on the brand name side. You know, I'm not a big fan of brand name stocks. But... Uh, but sometimes, you know, listen, if there's, uh, we have a, we know how they trade and we just trade those patterns. Uh, Ken says, look at the PBR. The PBR, yeah, I saw that a little bit earlier. Yeah, she's moving up pretty nicely. Stock took a huge hit from 17, all the way down to nine. She's moving pretty nicely. A little bit on the faster side, by the way, Ken, you, you obviously not, if you're a level one trader, which we know we have a few of them in the room, you're a beginner, stay away from this stock. The stock can move pretty fast. This is a minimum of a two. A little bit more of a brand name stock, but definitely thanks for that call. Can I'm gonna throw it out on the watch list? Uh, that's that's what it is. Look, listen, and learn, and team effort. All right, guys. Anything else I'm missing? I did not call out. Anything else? I think we pretty much got them all. Uh, Benio says the PED looks promising, but needs a little more volume. Yes, I mean, listen, we 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 traded that. You could see for some of you who didn't know. Uh, we traded the stock of 50 cents, went to $4, then it, it you know, it actually went to 250 and the next day went higher. Stock's been a great, great mover for us. We did really well. We'll keep an eye on that. Ken says it's a tease. It sure is. I mean, but listen, you know, I'm not a big fan going back to stocks, especially when they're up that big. Um, Got to be really, really careful on that stock. So you don't really find, people can't even make that in a lifetime and we make it in a day. You know, you go, you go figure, right? So anyway, we got a pretty good list here. And uh, for everyone here, just give everyone a little heads up. Uh, worth watching super. <laughs> you know, I'm never going there again. Let's just scratch that off our memory. Uh, the D, the D-R-Y-S. I'd rather trade P-E-D. And it is picking up some volume right there. I totally agree. I'm going to throw it on the list. P-E-D. All right, so anyway, guys, uh, for some everybody here is that are new, I know we have some new members. Please just sit back and watch and learn. Make sure you talk to education advisor. Tell them know exactly what to expect. Just understand this is not a teaching room. This is a trading room. And so if you want to learn, like what we're doing, you like to see these things up 10, 20, 50%, 100% of the day, if you think you could do it, or you want to learn more about how everybody else is doing it, talk to education advisors. Remember, everyone here is just like you. We're just all human beings every day working men and women uh, that don't want to give our money to online brokers or bro brokers or traders. We want to do it on our own. So to learn more about it, first see if it's for you because I'm telling you right now, it's not for everybody. All right, so just be very careful. But at least you're here to see what it's all about and hopefully you'll be able to join the team. All right, guys, so good luck. Everyone, happy trading. And uh, let's see if we find anything else new. Let's go out there and spit it out. In the meantime, I'll see you back at 2.30. And don't forget, due to what happened on Tuesday, a lot of people, I forgot to mention, Josh was just reminding me that on uh, we didn't do the um, traders talk on Tuesday, so we are going to be doing it today at 1 o'clock. So we got two big events going on today. 12 o'clock, we have open house for, for new traders, and we have traders talk for trade uh, for the cyber group room. All right, guys? So And then you have uh, the afternoon meeting at 2.30. So you got a lot going on this week, uh, today.
Other than that, if I don't see you for the rest of the day because you did so well in the morning, I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.